This segment is brought to you by Santa Fe Trail Meats in Overbrook, or visit us online at sftmeats.com. The emerald ash borer, or the EAB, is an exotic beetle and an invasive species that has spread in the United States. It was first discovered in Michigan near Detroit. Recently, it's been discovered in Lansing, Kansas, near Leavenworth. Yeah, emerald ash borer is an invasive beetle, um, originally from Asia. Um, it was found first in Kansas in 2012 in, uh, in Wyandotte County. Um, last summer it was detected in Johnson County and just this summer it's been detected now in Leavenworth County. So we've got three counties in the Kansas City metro area where we've had confirmed uh, positive finds of the emerald ash borer. It is estimated that there are over 8 billion ash trees in the United States. And since the arrival of the EAB, over 150 to 200 million ash trees have already died and this number is expected to rise. EAB has killed tens of thousands of ash trees in Kansas alone. Yeah, emerald ash borer was first detected in this country in 2002 in Detroit. Um, the theory is that it was probably present there for five to ten years before it was detected, which is uh, fairly holds true for when we've uh, detected it in Kansas City as well. We figure it probably was at some point in the mid-2000s and it didn't show up uh, on our surveys until uh, 2012. The Kansas Forest Service has developed a morality curve for ash trees, and over the next few years, it is expected that many ash trees will die. Uh, we're fairly low on that curve yet, but over the next few years, we expect a significant amount of ash to die. There's somewhere around 6 million ash trees in the Kansas City metro area. It's a safe bet to say within 15 years, the majority of those will probably die. Many adult beetles nibble on ash foliage, but cause little damage. The larvae, the immature stage, feed on the inner bark of the ash trees, disrupting the tree's ability to transport water and nutrients. So the, the means by which the emerald ash borer causes the tree death in ash is um, the adult will lay eggs on the bark, the, um, the larva will burrow underneath the bark in the cambium layer um, back and forth in S-shaped curves. And uh, with a, a high enough population with, with several uh, larvae in one tree, it'll end up girdling the tree um, and causing a disruption in that, uh, in that phloem layer of, uh, of the sap that flows up and down the tree and cause a tree to uh, uh, es essentially have all its limbs be cut off from the ability to, to manufacture food and uptake water. Treatment and removal is a major problem with the EAB and the state of Kansas. It's affected most of the Kansas City area already and is likely to spread to rural areas in Kansas as well. Prevention is a little bit tricky. There's uh, no good way to prevent the emerald ash borer from landing on your tree or infesting your tree. There are some uh, chemical treatments that can be done to help kill emerald ash borer that may be present within your tree. You'll want to take into consideration the size of that tree and, and its value to you, whether um, it's, it's worth saving or considering or placing because the treatments are, are not inexpensive. Um, the, the best way to stop it from moving around is by not moving firewood, not moving any, um, any lumber products or, or ash wood that may contain that beetle because it's going to move far faster and, and much, much longer distances on the back of a pickup truck um, or in someone's trailer moving firewood than it ever will flying on its own. I think that a major issue for this is going to be the cost of uh, potential treatments, but largely the cost of removing and replacing all these trees that are an important component of our urban canopy um, in the Kansas City metro area and all across Kansas as, as well. There's a lot of communities that have upwards of 20 percent uh, ash in their uh, their street trees and backyard trees. So it's, it's going to be a significant amount of money to address this issue. I think a lot of municipalities are being very forward thinking in trying to come up with a strategy uh, ahead of time because once it's already there and your trees are dying it may be too late to come up with a strategy. It is expected that Kansas will have many problems with the EAB but this is also an opportunity for rebirth. I think for the future in Kansas I'm optimistic I think that the emerald ash borer is going to have a significant impact on our urban forests. We're going to lose a lot of ash trees but I've talked with a lot of people who look at this as an opportunity to increase the diversity of trees in their communities. Yes we're going to lose these just like we lost a lot of um, American elms when Dutch elm disease swept through a lot of communities. Hopefully going forward we're going to be able to plant a lot of different trees to hedge our bets and keep all of our eggs from being in the same basket so when the next threat inevitably comes we won't lose such a significant portion of our important community forest resource. Thank you for watching Farm Factor on Ag AM in Kansas. For more of Farm Factor, or if you want to view this program again, log in to www.agamincansas.com where you can explore more ag favorites. Good day 
and good luck. Captioning brought to you by Kansas Soybean.